a hand of praise to our God the Father in heaven. Do you agree that life is a great adventure? Yeah. Amen. Do you agree that life is a mission itself? Yeah. Amen. Life is a mission itself. And uh, I just would like to introduce myself. I am Mon Sagen, and together with my wife, Sipoy Kaganina Dinhi, with my family, uh, we are the Provincial Youth for Christ Couple Coordinators. And I just would like to share with you the mission that God started in this area. You know, even tonight, this is a mission work that God has given us. Last April 1994, God gave us a mission. God called five young adults from Cagayan de Oro. They were invited to attend a conference in Manila with myself. The six of us went to Manila. And I just would like to share with you the love of God during that particular trip. Because right before the Sakai Misa boat para Manila, pagtanaw na ko sa TV, sa CNN, weather report, there was a typhoon na nasa Visayas area. And we were to board the ship for Manila. So we went to the pier, nag board the ship only to, to be announced that it will be up to Iloilo only. Dili na siya mula ho sa Manila because of the typhoon. So right there, ang akong decision was, okay, we will not go. So I called up, boy, kwao na mi sa pier. When I came back, nakita na ko silang lima. They were looking up to me for the decision. And I look at their faces, and I could see clearly that they want to go. So I said, okay, let's go. And we did. You know, we went to Manila via Cebu. And when we reached Cebu, we were supposed to take another boat for Manila only to find out that it was puno na. All along the trip, I was praying, Father in heaven, I'm so afraid. The typhoon is right in Visayas. Any hour, any moment, that could, we could meet the typhoon. And you know what God did to us while we were in Cebu? We were sleeping. Four o'clock in the afternoon, we were sleeping because we were resting. We woke up 6.30 in the evening. We were so surprised. Brown out tanan, nanggawas mi, nangita mi o restaurant walay open, only to find out nga nalabay na day ang typhoon. That particular moment, we said, God, you're so good to us. Your love is so great. You answered our prayers. You did not allow us to continue with that fear in our hearts. You allowed us to become. You know, those five young adults started the Youth for Christ here in Cagayan de Oro. And then they, they continued their mission. They served in singles for Christ. And right now, two of them are in couples for Christ. They have their own families right now. The five young adults I'm referring are two sisters and three brothers. Si Inday Aguinot, who is in Kamigin right now, she cannot come. The other one is Sheila Del Fierro, who got married to Martin Atienza. Doon na sila anak karon, si Anton. The three brothers are Anthony Del Fierro, the younger brother of Sheila, and Jets Ortiz. And of course, together with Ronald Palang, who also got married last June to Janice. So this mission will continue because this is the same mission that God has given us. And all of us here, are being called by God to this mission. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm sorry I can't see you, but uh, I believe I owe you so many things tonight. Because before you came, you never knew the story behind what happened tonight. And siguro as what it have shared. Uh, I'm one of the person. I'm one of the the person na gipadala sa Manila. And all of the sudden, siguro na kurat ko niya to. Wala ko kabalo sa kung buhaton. And I never knew even what will happen dito sa sa Manila. And coming back without any mission, without any vision, all I knew is that 
we're gonna start YFC in Cagayan de Oro. And we start with a handful of people, with five of us, katong na-mention kaganina. And nakita na ako every week, gamit me. No? Every week, every week, uh, gakita me sa Osaka place just to discuss the prayer meeting on that next weekend and the following weekend and the next months to come. And you know, brothers and sisters, I can still see how the Lord has worked clearly tonight. What you see today, what you saw tonight, brothers and sisters, is the product of the mission. It's the mission that we have continued to live in our lives. And the mission that we have dedicated our lives to the Lord. And these young people are living witnesses to this mission that the Lord has given to us. And brothers and sisters, as what Ito Monam said, I just got married last June. And wala pa ko anak. But hopefully in the future, he or she will come. And I would, I would be very happy to welcome that child that God will give me. I will, I will be very happy to welcome that beautiful child that God will give me. Because we have prepared a place for him or for her. And that is because we now have the mission and we will continue to fight for that vision that the Lord has given us. Amen? And we will continue the mission. Amen. Amen. So together with Couples for Christ and the Family Ministries, we would like to thank them. We would like to thank RM RMN TV for covering this particular activity, Xavier University for this venue, the parents, all the youth for Christ, the kids for Christ, the singles for Christ, the handmaids of the Lord, servants of the Lord, and of course, the couples for Christ, and all the other brothers and sisters who helped us in this mission. Let's continue this mission. Let's go on. Let's fight. Let's move. Let's go forward as what the scriptures is telling us. God is telling us, go and tell and preach the good news. Baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To the ends of the earth, go to every family. And God said, I will be by your side till the end of age. Let's continue the mission, brothers and sisters.
brothers and sisters. We may belong to different families here right now, but we have one mission, and that is to continue on loving and serving God. Is that amen, my brothers and sisters? Right now, I'd like to request everyone to please stand. Let's sing this song one more time. Let's this song be a commitment for all of us. Because it will come. 